Hey folks, Justin here from The Real Justin. Um, I'm gonna do something a little different today. It's Friday, it's uh, you know the afternoon, traffic is uh, still kind of crazy. But um, I'm going to do something a little bit different that's not gonna be on the kayak and I'm, I'm gonna go on foot. And really the goal of today, the challenge of today, is to try to land a fish completely um, with this uh, new rod and reel setup that uh, I've been trying to get for the last couple of times. Um, I actually hooked a fish and uh, it was, it, by the time getting into the kayak, it had quick released itself. So, you know, I count that as half points, not, not the full uh, land. But, uh, and I did get the chance to use this for tournament fishing and, and unfortunately I didn't, I didn't land anything on it. But today I'm gonna go and fish this and see if I can catch something with it because that'd be really fun uh, to do. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that right now. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. We're going to do this on foot. No kayak today, yo. Okay, a lot of bugs up here. We don't want to be messing with that. Oh, that'd be pretty sweet. Okay, I'll come on this side. There we have it, folks. Boom. Let's see if we can catch some fish. I hope it's not too much glare for you guys out there, but that's what I'm doing right here. any bites first cast no first cast it's a lot of current coming in because of the wind And you know, it could be a good thing for us because we're kind of a little bit on a point here. And the idea is that it's kind of swinging fish and you know bait fish or something around here. This is where you know this is where the predators are going to want to want to go because this is where all the fish are going to be. So that could be the case. Um, current could also be upsetting to the fish and you know they want to go hide behind some sort of structure but i mean we're we're pretty close to uh oh we're pretty close to um you know to some major structure right now with this with this bridge did get a bite on this thing which is pretty cool just gotta be patient i'm gonna catch a fish with this today i have to maybe it's the bait selection maybe well, this one has been hot for me. For the Rage Craw. This little uh, green pumpkin color. This thing has caught a ton of fish. Man, I had to, uh, biting off the top to make it a smaller profile because it was getting torn up pretty bad. A lot of, a lot of fish was caught with this thing. And I got a half ounce uh, weight on it. I pegged it with a bobber stop. I covered that in my in my previous videos. But man, this thing is this thing has been great. Catching a ton of fish. So maybe maybe this is that's the magic lure here. Oh no. Nope, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I just got snagged. Dang. So I definitely want to go under the bridge. Problem is, there's hornets, hornets' nests everywhere, which sucks. You know, you gotta have a lot of respect for uh, bank fishermen. You know, it is tough 
Like you, you got to be willing to go go to places that other people, most other people may may not be willing to go to get some fish, right? So um, you got to be very patient. I think there's a lot more patience when you are a bank fisherman because you do you do want to cover water, but you also want to make sure that you're you're you know you're you're covering all the water that you're you're at, just because like you know you you, you want to make sure you're thorough. Uh, it's not like you know, you're, 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 you're riding on two feet in a heartbeat and it's not like, you, you know, you can get on a boat and go somewhere else and, or get on a kayak for that matter and go somewhere else. So, um, spots gotta be selected properly and you gotta fish it properly, yada, yada, yada. So a lot of respect for bank fishermen out there, uh, for sure. I mean, I, and, you know, before I got a kayak, I was a, definitely a bank fisherman prior to that. So, I mean, I guess I still am right now, but I guess, I guess the hardcore bank fishermen, you know, anyways, a lot of respect for those folks. Here we go. Got it. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, I don't have my net. Come on now. Oh. Got him. Oh boy. Don't do that, buddy. Don't do that, buddy. I got gotcha. you. Got him. Nice. Oh, shoot. Okay, sorry, buddy. There might be another hook in here, that's why. Yeah, there's two hooks. Whoa, that's weird. Oh, wow, there is actually two different lures in here. Come on. Buddy, I gotta help you. I'm gonna help you. What are you fishing for? Catfish? Ooh, that was a little operation there. Got it out, saved, fish is good. Those tense moments. <laughs> this thing. This thing is like rusty, I have to buy a new one. Any recommendations on some forceps, guys? Because this one now is, I mean, rusted out difficult to use it's very hard for me to get at oh boy that fish was heavy too i wish i had a chance to like weigh it but he's been out of the water for a while a good fish first one first one using my new rod reel combo that was a that was a gem it's a good bite got the tail bit off no good, no bueno. So the uh, that last fish, I thought, man, it looked like we had two hooks on him and that's why I was kind of getting confused on where to pull the hook. I actually had to go underneath the gill because it was hooked underneath the gill. And uh, you know, oh, glad I saw that before I started, you know, doing any ripping, ripping and replacing over there. That was a really good sized fish. It just, you know, and it inhaled it. It's just, it's just speaking to the volumes of you know these uh these soft plastics they go i mean they're tough to beat these fish are gonna gobble them up and that i don't think that looked like a like a reaction strike either that didn't look like i i'm pissed off at you kind of bite it looked like i'm hungry 
I'm going to eat that <laughs> bait or eat that lizard. And, uh, and that's what he did. I mean, that thing was just took, you know? All right, let's get another lizard on. Water now, I mean, the current is starting to uh, slow down. It's, it's, it's actually calm right now at the edge of the water, so. Maybe there's gonna be some more activity because of that around here. Ooh. There's a lot of work on that other one, man. You know, I was like thinking I was gonna, I'm gonna reach for my net. And I'm like, oh, I don't have a net, it's on my kayak. <laughs> All right, well, challenge completed. Not bad, that only took like half an hour. Man, broke off another one, it's the second one. That was a jig too. All right, we got the tie. How much light do we have left? Oh, we're okay. Let's try to go with the top water here. Cast like a dream too, that's far. I like it, I like it. Let's try this side. I don't know if I forgot to tell you guys, I, I had broke a lot of things happened on that tournament. I broke a rod. That, I think I mentioned this, the Johnny Morris rod, and I and one of the gentlemen um, who had fished on the tournament had offered up his services, uh, you know, for no cost. Uh, his name is Brian, and um, anyways, got a chance to meet him and his wife um, a few days ago. And um, Chip, my partner, had had actually recommended. I recommend it. Sorry, that's not the right word. Had to um, provide like an introduction to this guy, and he's just a nice, nice. Like all of them are just nice dudes, and he's willing to. Like, he's gonna be fixing my rod, um, you know, for free. I, I mean, obviously, I've offered to pay for his services and obviously the, uh, the material, but he is not having any of it, and that just speaks to the type of people that are that are here and part of this organization. So, super fun. Uh, oh, and he's fixing uh, one of my uh, spin uh, spinning rods as well one of the eyelets on the very top uh, came loose and he said he'll take care of that too as well so man so fortunate to have uh those type of people you know in the know so uh brian if you're watching thank you again sir really appreciate uh you, uh, you and, and obviously the hospitality at your house too super oh yeah there's a fish there's a fish Oh, he broke off. You get those. You get those. Gotta be cool. Gotta be cool. That only took freaking 15 minutes for you to tie on, but gotta be cool <sighs> not the leader portion frayed right here he had me wrapped around rocks oh man that was a tough fish <sighs> took it right there wow he had me wrapped around rocks look at that I don't know if you can see it there's some frays Oh, maybe not. See those frays? Boom. Yep. Darn. Still shook from that uh, missed opportunity. Man. Man, that sucks. That was a big fish. Okay. Maybe the drag. Yeah. You know what I did? I set that drag. Um a little too tight because I got snagged that last one. So I put my drag on to see if I can pull it out. That's what happened. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Come on, Justin, you're better than that. Got a little bit of rain. Shouldn't be too bad. Some good solid bites. Broke off one and caught one. 
which required an operation um, to get a gut hook out. But good day. Wish I caught more fish on this uh, on this setup here, but man, that flat one is gonna remain with me for a while. That was a big fish. That was a. I don't know if it was a bass. I mean, it just took it and motored out. Reminds me of the one that I uh, I lost on the tailwater in the, in the middle of summer. Ooh, fought exactly the same way, actually. Two pumps. It was like whoosh, whoosh, gone. It is raining. Is it gonna pass? We risk it. All right, so I'm gonna head back to my car. Uh, challenge completed. So we got the um, the new setup was uh, was actually kicking some butt. Um, you know, kind of tough for it to land, but land did land one. It was a really great size one. It, did, it definitely felt like three, uh, at least high twos, uh, but not bad. I mean, we got to fish for what, like an hour? That was it, and, and I would say 15 or so minutes of the time was uh, was traveling and then walking, so. Uh, awesome Friday pitch, good stuff. Uh, get out there, do something. Keep fishing, keep, keep doing whatever it is you guys do. And uh, if you like the video, please hit like. If you uh, want to subscribe and catch some more videos, please do so. And uh, any uh, any questions that you have, put them on the or anything you want to say, put them in the description. I mean, put them in the uh, comment section below. Otherwise, uh, have a good one. Get yourself outdoors. And thanks for joining me today. See ya.